Hello everyone, Super Pacific, welcome to the Puerto Princesa Airport. For your safety and comfort, please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened until the captain turns off the fastened seatbelt sign. Please check your surroundings to ensure you do not leave any of your personal belongings behind. Be cautious when opening the overhead vents as heavy items may have moved during the flight. On behalf of your entire Cebu Pacific team headed by our flight deck crew, Captain Valencia and First Officer Gonzalez, together with your cabin crew, we thank you for making Cebu Pacific a part of your important moments. So right now we're here at Puerto Princesa Dolce Vita Resort. Um, we're going to tell you what happened to us um, here in Puerto Princesa because we were supposed to go to El Nido right away. But instead of that, something happened. Um, actually, it's kind of a horror because it's Christmas Eve, but we weren't able to go there according to plan. Our plane landed at 12 noon. We were delayed for two to three hours. Um, and from 12 o'clock up until 5... 35 yes, o'clock we were still waiting in the airport to go to El Nido now the thing is I'll just tell you my our story originally because we just met these two young lovely ladies that are originally from Taiwan at the airport um, and we spent Christmas Eve together because of what happened so we landed at 12 o'clock and then um, our driver uh, arrived at about 3 30 in the afternoon now, when we arrived, we initially thought that we would be the only ones that's on the van. Now, um, what we were told is we were just going to join other people to um, ride the van. So he told us we we're just going to wait for the next flight to land, which is at about 4.30 in the afternoon. What time did your uh, plane land? 3.30. So there. So they were already there. Their plane landed at the same time that our driver got into um, the airport. So... Um, when we went to the van, we thought that we were going to leave right away. Initially, I thought it was my husband and I that's going to be in the van, plus these two ladies, and we thought there were already two people inside. Um, but here's what happened why we stayed. The driver said that he will wait for other passengers to join us, but your plane just landed. Mm -hmm. And they, they are the only two people that were part of the van ride. Now, what did the driver tell you guys? Uh, he told us that um, there's already six, uh, plus us, there's already, uh, because there's already four person in the van, and then we are the last two, so we are ready to go. That's why we joined. That's also what we yeah. thought, because when, when you uh, walk towards the van, you would think that there are already two people there. And then when I realized the two people that I thought that were already part of the passengers were actually companions of the driver. Now, lo and behold, he was saying that um, out of the goodness of his heart, he went there as a favor to our travel agency to pick us up because there's no van, which is true. Mm -hmm. There's no available van because, of course, it's Christmas Eve. And it's, um, if ever there is, they would really charge you fairly high because... That is really, if ever you're going to divide it up to how many people inside the van is per person, that's really how it's supposed to be charged. But of course, um, we initially thought that we're already, we're already leaving. Now, 
Time passed. Another plane landed at about 4.30 or 5 o'clock. We weren't still leaving. So there's really no passengers. And remember, from Perth to Princesa to El Nido, it's a six-hour drive? Yes. yes. So given the fact it's already five past 5 o'clock, we already know that we're going to be there by dawn. Now, um, while they actually spoke with us because... Why did you speak with us? Because we were, we were straight, total strangers at the van. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, the driver looks like a fool. <laughs> well, Come on. Yeah. Uh -huh. and because I asked, because I don't have enough cash. Yeah. And I want to currency the exchange to one with me, but airports, they just close it. Yeah, the currency exchange in the airport is closed. So she said, she, you were asked to... How, how much your money is? No, yeah, he asked me, but the question is where I can exchange the money, but he just said, how much you have, like that. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, in peso, I mean, what, what, how much he has in peso, and then they, you were supposed to pay him how much for your round each? 700. 700, which is actually the correct amount, if ever, because the standard rate is 500, they said, but since it's, you know, holiday season, it's, it's very in demand, it's 700 pesos. Now, I'm um, 700 to 800 pesos. That's, yes. that's pretty much the ceiling already per mm -hmm. person. Now, you were told that you were going to find for a currency exchange, but... But the, char uh, the driver said that they are going to charge us more. Like more gasoline. Money. gasoline. For the gasoline, because yeah. they're going to, we're going to look for a currency exchange, which yeah. is open on Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. Now, for us, we were told that we would have stopovers to eat and um okay part two um so what happened was um they're supposed they were told by the driver that they're going to be charged extra to find for currency exchange now you were asked what first thing <laughs> yeah the first thing he asked me is like hey how old are you and i was like what why 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 not, it's none of your business and then she, he was like really like like this and then just like staring so at me the way of so it's kind of um shady, yeah, if, shady. If, if if you're going to look at it it's yeah. it's kind of scary because the thing is it's already late and we were still there and then he always spoke with us in a manner wherein he's always angry yeah, yeah. saying that it's i'm just being um good to you guys that i am here um, and then I'm going to drive you because there's no van, which is true. There's really scarcity of van, but it's like he's making you feel that it's, um, it's a favor. He's doing you guys a favor. Yeah. And at the end of the day for us, because we already have a travel agent, um, the, our travel agent finally called him and said that, why aren't you leaving? And then he got mad at me because said, your travel agent called me and said that you were you wanted to leave right away. I cannot leave right away because I just uh, used 3,000 pesos worth of petrol to be here to um, pick you guys up. So if you went here to uh, pick us up, then you should we should already leave because we were the main reason why you were there, but no. So he said, um, I need to get more passengers so I would get my money back from the petrol that I, that I, um, that was my expense. So we do understand that it's better if he would have, he would, you know, we were understanding at the first part. But then again, it was really late. And then I found out that he was not going to drop us off at the hotel. Mm -hmm. He blurted out and said, where is, so Clea, you're going to take us to a hotel, right? And said, no, I'm just going to drop you off at the terminal. I said, we'll be there at dawn. Nobody's there at the terminal. So we, we are tourists. How do we know? Where to go and that's when his voice changed and said we were going to be dropped off at our just nearby the hotel and we, we can just walk and they were told that you were you would be dropped off on your hotel uh -huh. yeah but he wasn't sure where that is yeah he, he just, just said okay i'm not like that yeah. yeah well he is a local so perhaps he does know but the original plan was he was going to drop us off first that's what he told you uh, was it no that's what we like uh, he, he told you that uh, they are going to drop you first. Yes. And then they would be the last yeah. one. And we're talking about a van that has two adult guys and then one, not really young, but also um, a, a guy. So for tourists, we want you to be careful. Um, his name starts with, can you describe how he is? Like short, 
that guy and then start with D. Yes. So yeah. name starts with D. He's very well known there. If you say his name, they, they, all, they all warned us that it's a bit shady, but we were just quite positive that because he's the van driver that was assigned. So we initially thought it was good. And then our agency also called him and said that your van driver is crazy because he's now mad at us. And then he actually asked us to leave the van. Mm -hmm. And when we left the van, good thing these people went with us because um, if ever they stay, we don't even know if they're going to reach El Nido at uh, a decent time or if mm -hmm. ever they will, because it's, it's already dark, guys. It's Christmas Eve. You're, you're going to expect that during Christmas, people would be more polite, but first, whatever happened to us prior to the eve or let's say midnight, it was really bad. Mm -hmm. So we would like to warn you guys to be very aware of who would be picking you up and the terms of how you would be leaving now i do have a couple of minutes more so i'll stop this video and then live for part three okay part three so this is just to wrap things up as i mentioned earlier in the part two make sure that you know um you have a travel agent um that would arrange for your travel your hotel if it's possible that would arrange it now um if ever you're going to go diy make sure that you know that the regular fare if not, if, not, if, not peak, if it's not peak time, it's 500 pesos. But it can um, range from 500 to 800 pesos per person for the van. And they would have 10 passengers on the van. So be mindful of that if ever you're going to go DIY. Number two, make sure that you speak with the police just outside the the airport because they're very very good mm -hmm. they're very concerned because when we left our van the police approached us yeah yeah and asked why are you still here because they know that we were for example us we stayed at the at the police desk from 12 o'clock they know us and they're they're quite confused it's already past five why are you still in the airport so make sure you, you have the police know that you're there and what's gonna happen mm -hmm. because they're really, really concerned. Yeah. Um, uh, third one is make sure that you are very sure about the description of the guy. We don't want to do a name drop, yeah. but the nickname, it's more of the nickname of how he's called. They start with letter D. And he is, he looks short and... Um, like he has a ponytail, Yes. Thing? Yeah, and then the skin color is... Dark, dark. Yeah, and yeah. he's he's a bit on the heavy chubby. side or chubby. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're glassy. No, no, no. Yeah, no. There's no, no. He's not wearing. No, glasses. no, no, no. Perhaps uh, it's just oh, shades. The beard. Yeah, he has somewhat of a Gold's beard. beard. Yeah, yeah, like that. So be sure that you look out for that guy because that's that guy's really shady. Before, when the other drivers knew the name, when we were name dropping him, as to this is the guy that's going to pick us up, and then he said, they said, "Are you sure he's going to pick you up?" Because he's well known here that's, that doesn't pick up, you know, um, passengers. So make sure. So any um, uh, messages for your Taiwan? Because they're from Taiwan. First time here in El Nido. Mm -hmm. So just message um, your um, uh, co-Taiwanese travelers. Yeah. Any, any, any message to them? <笑>有点恐怖变态一样就是真的要很小心你们在来的时候就是最好的方法就是先跟那个 at the middle of nowhere. And also you need to use the Google Translation. Yes. yes. That's actually how they met us. Yeah. yeah. Because we were speaking with the driver, and of course in Filipino, and she was um, concerned or curious to what we were talking about. We were talking differently. We're not friendly. Yes. We yeah. were not friendly with the driver. So she did Google Translate. She eavesdropped on what we were talking about. <laughs> and she stopped. Yeah. She, is that she's just gossiping yeah <laughs> but th that's the thing be always aware of where you are mm -hmm. if if you have a different language 
Of course, Filipino is a different language. If nobody speaks English, do Google Translate, like yeah. voice activation. Yeah. Do that. If ever someone is going to speak with someone through text, make sure also you utilize that. That would help you guys a lot. So we spend Christmas Eve together here in Dolce Vista Resort. We really recommend, I'll do a separate vlog for this one because we really recommend this place. It's very nice, they're very accommodating. And we felt Christmas mm -hmm. when we got here. Yeah. yeah. So we spent Christmas Eve with total strangers and but then again, we ended up adding um, new friends and contacts. <laughs> so you would expect us to go to Taiwan with these two lovely ladies in the future. Yay! <laughs> So have more adventures here, more vlogs here in the Puerto Princesa, and we'll see you guys soon! Bye!